Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project multi-vendor food ordering system multi-vendor means uh, many of the vendors can register on the website and after that he can register on their restaurants and customer can order food from different vendors right and they can add food items from different restaurants in a single order right so this is i this project title is multi-vendor food ordering system because it has a provision for adding and registering multiple vendors right so we have developed this project multi-vendor food ordering system in java spring boot react and mask well so uh, for id we have used sts spring boot tool suits for developing the uh, developing the spring boot application and the Visual Studio Code for developing the React application and MySQL work in, Workbench for MySQL database creations. You can use a PHPMyAdmin Admin also for uh, modifying the database for importing and exporting the database, right? For port, uh, we have used port 3000 for running the React application and port 8080 for running the Tomcat application that is uh, microservices right so these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project multi-vendor food ordering system right so let's start with the features and functionalities and modules what we have implemented inside this project right so once you run this project you will get this gorgeous home page you can see this is a home page and this is a bootstrap theme so it's a mobile responsive parcel mobile responsive not the fully so this is the home page you can see some of the products are coming on the food or items are coming on the home page some of the categories are coming on the home page these all data is coming from the microservices which we have developed in a spring boot right so this is a home page and if you click on the about this is a static page and there is nothing dynamic on it this is a totally static which we have uh, in created on the react side this is a category this category is a dynamic page and if you want to search category then you can search the category here right so you can i think there is some mistake here right so i am searching this like search so you will be able to see if you click on the category you will be able to see all of the food items which belongs to that category right you can see this is the food items which belongs to that category if you click on the quick view right you will be able to see the details of that category and you can add item into the cart but there is a restriction you can't order any of the food items without the registration so registration and the login is mandatory in this project right this is all food all products right? this is all products we have added inside the database and admin have added inside the database if you click on any of the products you will be able to see the details of that this the registration this is the single registration for multi-purpose right so there are three types of there are four roles we have implemented here the first role is the admin second role is the vendor second third role is the delivery partner and the fourth role is the customer so there are four roles available inside this project right admin delivery partner vendor and the customer right and except admin these three uh, types of user can register from this website right so you can see there are three roles here right so user can register and after registration the internal features will be changed according to the rules right this is all products for registration this is a login this is a center login for all of the applications and this is a feedback of the application so if you want to submit the feedback of the website then you can submit the feedback from here now i am going to log in as a as an admin first so user ID is admin at the rate admin.com and the password is test once you submit then you will get this options so admin can manage this all so he has super rights right he can do whatever he wants to do he has super rule right so these menu options are available here also add new so this is the add new product here you can see this is a vendor right so this drop down will contain all of the vendors which is available in the database who has a rest on the website this is a product name category which category he in that uh, product belongs to and the product cost and all right up to the image 
this is add new category so admin can add the new category this is add new user even admin can add a new user also this is a product report all of the product reports all of the vendors product reports will be displayed here all of the restaurant product reports will be displayed here if you want to search any of the uh, product you can search from here you can see the vendor name is Pratik Kumar and the vendor is 419 and this is a Mughlai and coach for you even he can edit it also right this is a category report again all of the category which admin has added will be displayed here this is a customer report all of the customers who has registered will be displayed here currently there is one customer delivery partner there is only one delivery partner so this is the delivery partner report and this is a feedback report and things uh, what submitted by your customer will be displayed here right so this is all about the order right and <clears throat> this is the all order reports placed by different customer right even you can edit the order so edit what it contains that order edit contains the tracking id and the delivery partner who is going to deliver the order so this drop down will contain all of the delivery partners order status right order status will be updated by the delivery partner or the admin right so this is the order report the next one is what items customer has added into the order then you will be able to see the items here right and the logout so this is the session driven menu if you click on the logout all of the session will be expired and this all menu options will not be displayed so you can see there is a magic and menus are not displaying here now i am going to log in as a vendor for in second the second role right vendor at the rate gmail.com and the password is test submit so this is a vendor right you can see the menu options are very limited to vendor because vendor has limited rights vendor can't do same operation like admin because he has limited rights he is the user of the website that's why right so this is a my product report so he will be able to see all of the product report which belongs to that vendor right he will not be able to see the product report of different vendors here right he can manage his product he can delete his product he can uh, edit his product whatever he want to do he can do for his product only not for the other vendors right so this is the product report and the same options are here so here you can see the drop down is not coming here because vendor once vendor will submit this form that product will be added into the vendor's account right that vendor account who has login but if admin has login then admin will be able to see uh, will be able to add the product into the any vendor's account right but login vendor will be able to add the uh, product into his account only right so add new product this is the product report he will be able to see and this is the order report again vendor will be able to see those order which product the customer has ordered right like if there is an order one and there are five products and that one product belongs to vendor out of those five one product belongs to this vendor then dot that order will be displayed here and he will be able to see that product only because you can see this order number 338 and we were able to see four products but this vendor is able to see only these two products because this vendor this two product belongs to this vendor only right he will not be able to see the product of other vendors right so this is the feature of this project right product report and even he can update the delivery option also right in the order he can edit the delivery option also right so this is the second role that is a vendor now i am going on to the third role that is a delivery delivery right so delivery at the rate gmail.com and the password is test so there this is the delivery option and you can see the features for the delivery boy is very limited he will be able to see my deliveries only right you can see these three deliveries has been assigned to that delivery boy 
and he can see the details of that delivery and he can edit and he can update okay the delivery tracking id and the delivered or what to order fact like that then he can update the things right he can do only the delivery he can update the delivery option only accept it he can't do anything right so this is the feature of the delivery boy now the next one is a customer that is the amit at the rate gmail.com and the password is test right so this is a customer right so customer can see all of the things here right my card he will be able to see our card there is no item into his card this is a my orders he will be able to see all of the orders but he can't edit the order right he can see what he ordered right and this will display all of the orders from different vendors also right and this is the my card and my order submit feedback he can submit the feedback and he can update his account details right now even he can't change his role too right now i am going to order some item quick view and this item i want to add three items into the cart so you can see three items we have added into the cart total cost is this one now this one you can see this is the rupee symbol but you can change it this is a configurable right cut new upping and this is a quick view and add to cart so two item right and this one quick view and add it to the three but if i want to delete it just click on the delete and that item will be deleted from your cart once you click on the checkout it will ask your payment details right card details this is a dummy payment gateway there is nothing to there is uh, no need of entering the credit credit card details here right so you can see total amount you need to pay is this one and you can't edit this amount and once you click on the submit your order has been generated and your order number is 435 right and this you have generated and you can see your orders in the my order section you can see this is a page right now if i go on the uh, admin account admin and create admin.com test and then order reports order management and if i edit this order and i assign to this tracking id here and i assign to this this per one right and order processing submit right then permanent will be able to see that order right like delivery aggregate gmail.com right you can see my deliveries uh, i think that there is a different uh, that is a different account let me change the delivery boy here So let me change the delivery boy here. Admin at the rate admin.com test and order report or management and this one and instead of one I assign to Rahul, right? Log out and develop at the rate gmail.com and the password is test and my deliveries. So I think there is some issue, but it will show the order here for that delivery boy, right? And that delivery boy will deliver the order to the user, right? So these all features we have developed inside this project, which name is multi-vendor food ordering system. As I told you earlier, this is a major project which has four roles. And that is the admin, vendor, delivery boy, and the customer right and each role has their own features right but if you need any enhancement any new features in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate your changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you